All right, guys, thanks for tuning into this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to uh, change the mileage in your vehicle. Now, um, this kit works on a wide range of vehicles, but uh, we are demonstrating it in a Porsche. But the process I'm going to go through in this video is exactly the same for your specific vehicle as well. Um, now, one thing to know is this is quite a high-end tool. This one here is a quite an expensive tool, but there is another version of this which will do exactly the same thing. That's the one I'm going to put the link to in the description below this video. So if you want a, um, a cost-effective tool which will also do exactly what this will do with regards to the mileage correction, click the link below this video. Uh, so what we're going to do is we have the tool plugged in and we're going to click on to Diagnosis and then we're going to click on to Odometer Adjustment. Okay, now these are the vehicles that it's going to cover. So we've got Audi, Bentley, Mercedes-Benz, Best Turn, Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Citroen, Ferrari, Fiat, Ford, or Lincoln, GMC, Geely, Great Wall, Hummer, Hyundai, Infiniti, Isuzu, Jaguar, Kia, Land Rover, Maserati, Mazda, MG, Mitsubishi, Niz Nissan, Oldsmobile, Opel, which is Vauxhall, uh, Peugeot, Pontiac, Porsche, Proton, Renault, Rowe, Saturn, Seat, Skoda, Smart, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Volvo, and VW. So, for the process of the demonstration, like I say, we're just going to use the, our Porsche Cayenne. Uh, we're going to click Cayenne. It's a 2010 onwards. So, we're going to go back up and mileage adjustment. So, we're in miles now it's asking us to create a folder this is what I would recommend doing because this saves the file that's currently on there and if you make a mistake you can always revert back to what the mileage currently is uh, so this is 105367 so I'm just gonna go uh, Cayenne Monday click done to that then click OK So this little process here, uh, depending on the vehicle, may take a minute, two minutes or so. Uh, so we've just got to wait till it gets to 100%, then it will allow us. What it should do is it should automatically try and read the current mileage of the car. It will generally get it within about 50 miles, uh, and then it will give you the option to actually go through and replace or change the mileage of your current vehicle. So we'll just be a little bit patient while this goes through. But as I say, this tool here, this tool is worth about two and a half thousand pounds, uh, which is probably out of range for most sort of DIY or home mechanics. Uh, but the version that I'm going to put in the link below this video, it, it does cost a lot less and it is a lot more affordable for the home DIY mechanic, uh, while still getting a lot of the functions from this tool. Uh, but mainly the one I'm showing you here is the, the mileage correction, as I say. Okay, so it's telling me that it thinks the mileage is 105407 and we've actually got 105367. Uh, so it's, it's about 40 miles out there. I think it's 40, 40 miles, is that right? Yeah. Um, now we can click onto this option here, change mileage. So what I'm going to do is say, let's say I wanted this to read 95,000. Okay. communicating and then this should reset and then a new mileage should come up and it's come up 94965 uh, so there we have it and it's got us within 35 miles of where we wanted to be if you wanted to get that exact then you could play around with the numbers a little bit more uh, but it's telling me it's adjustment complete and um, what we can do is we can go to uh, recovery And we can go to Cayenne today, or Cayenne Monday. Click OK. It's going to communicate and hopefully put the mileage back to exactly where we had it. There we go. 105367 is now showing. And that's exactly how you do it. Very easy, very simple to do. But this is the tool that you need to do it. Or the tool that I'm going to put in the link below this video will get you exactly to where you need to be. Uh, thanks for watching and um, yeah, hope this helps.